channel. Today I'm redoing a what's on my phone. I've only ever done this once before and it was at the end of 2022. This is my phone. Still the same one. I bought this in 2020. Encountered a few problems with it. Like for a long time the storage was an issue but that was just because I was obsessed with making edits and I had like hours of screen recording. But the storage has been fine ever since I stopped doing that. The only issue now is that the volume up and down, they take turns not working and the on and off button doesn't work sometimes but I can just tap it on and off so it's fine. For four years it's doing pretty good. First up I'm going to show you my lock screen. This is my lock screen. It's basically a little vision board I made for this year to kind of remind me and stuff and I've had this since the beginning of this year. I haven't changed it yet. Every now and then I take a photo of like me and my friend or something. It's like really cute and I'm like oh I want that to be my lock screen or like a celebrity will post a photo that's really nice and be like, oh, that should be my lock screen. But I'm like, no, just keep this because the first photo in the top corner is me and my friends on my birthday celebration last year. And that one indicates like spending more time with friends. Then there's me at the beach because I wanted to go to the beach more. I live close enough to the beach to be able to go every, go, <laughs> to be able to go every now and then. But last year, I think I went to the beach like three times. In the whole year and the rest are all from pinterest so there's a girl driving because i wanted to get my license and she's driving along the beach if you can see and there's two girls dancing because me and my friend wanted to dance more this year then there's johnny orlando like a concert i wanted to go to a concert maybe like this one more just like a filler one i don't mind last year i wanted to go to a concert really bad for some reason but this year i'm like whatever passport indicating travel duh a fashion study and a girl at the gym i'm doing pretty well the only thing i haven't really done is the concert and driving i guess because i don't have my license yet but i'm still i'm pretty happy with how it's going okay so this is the first page of my home screen the background is a photo of my cake and i think it fits perfectly there so it's really cute at the top i've got the weather as you can see right now it's 22 degrees so the first app i have there is gmail i just check my emails every morning it's just there because it's important then i've got blackboard which i use for tafe and in that square you can see like the gap after blackboard and above the calendar they used i used to have the duolingo widget there I had it for ages because last year I didn't go to TAFE for anything, so I was doing Duolingo all the time. I was learning Spanish, Italian, German, Ukrainian, and Korean. And then I'd go on and off, oh, and French. And I'd go on and off different languages, but then when I started TAFE this year, it was too much to even just do one language every day because I wasn't like remembering the words. So I was like, well, there's no point in keeping a streak because my streak was like 200 days or something. But I was like, there's no point in doing a streak if I'm not going to remember the language. So I, so I, I wanted to accidentally lose the streak and I did. So then I was like, oh, feel the streak is gone. Now I don't have that pressure because Duolingo is pressuring, bro. Like the messages he sends are threatening sometimes, as we all know. I removed the widget, but I might put it back now because I'm trying to just do a couple lessons of Spanish a day. Then I've got my calendar. If I had events coming up, I'd always put them in my calendar on my phone instead of on paper. Now I feel like I do it more on paper. So I don't use the calendar really, but it updates every day. Like today's the 11th of May, so. It just has the number on there. So but at least when I turn my phone on, I know what day it is. I've got the Google bar, which I don't use. Galaxy store, I don't use. Camera, duh. Play store is where I get my apps from. Then we have Goggle, which is my Google apps, but I only use Chrome. At the bottom, I've got my phone, gallery, text, and contacts. I love my gallery. I love looking through photos, but the only person I call is my mom or my friend. Like, I only call my friends if I'm meeting up with them and I might be like, are you on the way? But like, if I'm gonna call them like for fun, we'll normally just video chat on Snapchat. And text is like the same, like a few people, but whatever. Then if you scroll, this is my, like the apps I use. Like these are more like important apps and then these are more like fun, kind of. Clock, um, I love my clock app because you can put alarms and you can have world clock where you can like choose other cities and then there's stopwatch and timer. I like, so on World Clock, until a few months ago, I had like a lot of random places like London, New York. And then I just put these three, Dubai, Perth, and Rome, because I was going to Italy. So I just wanted to see what the time was everywhere. But normally I just have Rome because then I know what time it is where I live in Italy. So if I like got a message my cousin or something, I'll like see if they're awake or whatever. I have YouTube, self-explanatory. The subscribers we have, ooh, 406. Lay. Then YouTube music. I use this all the time. Oh my god. I listened to G Idol's new album and I've kind of just been listening. To, like, look, all my songs on repeat are G Idol. <laughs> One hour of G Idol, eight minutes of Jenny's six. Wow. I go, I don't know why, every year during like April, 
April, May, I go through like a really hardcore K-pop era. Like I do the K-pop dances, I listen to whatever is new, like, and then for the rest of the year, I just don't really, I'm not really with the K-pop. Like even if Blackpink comes out with the best song ever, I won't really listen to it until the next April. I don't know, it makes no sense, but it's happened like two or three years in a row now. So I don't know, maybe because it's like starts to get cold so I can do like high energy dances without sweating. I don't know. I literally have been singing Super Lady and Wife like all day, every day, the past week. Snapchat. I installed Snapchat for the filters, but obviously it's not really a thing anymore. Like people don't really use the filters anymore. So cute. And I use it to like video chat my friends, but we also talk on Instagram, so I don't know. It's kind of just an app I don't really need. Friends and two of my cousins because I don't want it to be a thing that people know I have Snapchat, you know, like, um, so. It's kind of one of my like private apps that I kind of use just for like family and friends. Hey, you have close friends on Instagram and you can post stories for just your close friends. I kind of use Snapchat like that. Like if I got to tell someone, like tell my friends and family something without telling like the whole world. Instagram. I love Instagram so much. I'm not going on it every day anymore and I feel so much better. Like sometimes if I post too many stories a day or I post on my feed or like I get a certain amount of likes it like I kind of get anxious and then I have to take like a few day break. Instagram is probably my favorite social media. Let's see my activity. I feel like I've been on it quite a bit recently. Time spent. See? One minute on Sunday, not not on Monday. Nine minutes, 21, 24, 18, and three. That's That's pretty good. 11 minutes, daily average is 11 minutes. That is crazy. It used to be, um, a few years ago it was 45 minutes, but like when I was 12 and I was like posting like 20 stories a day, I remember I checked it once. It said like my average was two hours and something a day, which is like, what are you doing on Instagram? Pixar, I used to make my thumbnails. TikTok, uh, I have a love-hate relationship with TikTok because I see TikTok a bit like, TikTok a bit like YouTube in the sense that if you post something, not everyone's gonna see it, which is like settling and makes me happy. But I don't post on it very much because, again, it's like, I don't know. I just don't really like it anymore. And part of the reason I liked TikTok, or I think anyone liked TikTok, was because of the dances and the good songs. But now half the songs get muted. I want to see if it shows the, the, the time I've spent on TikTok. In time. Let's have a look. Whoa. Oh, 37 minutes. I don't remember spending 37 minutes. Thursday? What was I doing? <laughs> 13 and 16 minutes is like when I'm posting a TikTok because it takes me that long to like film it and stuff. But as you can see, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and today, barely nothing. I mean, barely anything. WhatsApp, I've got like my contacts from Italy, like my family in Italy, or most of my family here as well. CapCut. <laughs> I used to use CapCut all the time. I used to make edits all the time, like fan edits, and I was really good at it, but I'm glad I stopped doing it because it would take hours and sometimes it was like, I would make edits as a coping mechanism. So the fact that I've stopped making them now is a, like basically that I'm in a better place now, which is good. I have it because I like making like small edits sometimes or if I'm making like a compilation of my day or whatever, then I'll just post it on Instagram. So I still have uh, CapCut, but I definitely don't use it as much as I used to. I use it maybe like once every few months now. I used to use it once every few hours. Google Photos. Photos doesn't really have to be there. I don't know why it's there. I like deleting stuff sometimes. It makes me happy. I feel like I'm cleansing. Samsung notes I used to use like every day. I would write really sad poems when I was sad. Like I'm talking like two years ago. Um, write to-do lists. Like I said, now I like writing them on paper more, but I just could not do it on paper before. Like if I had to write something, it had to be on a phone. Like, I don't know why on paper, it just wouldn't sink in. Calculator, I don't know why that's there. I never use it. Samsung Health, I love this app. It's so fun. You get to count your steps. Well, it's 6,000 a day and as you can see this past week, I've done pretty good. Um, I didn't do that much on Wednesday because my mom took me into TAFE so I didn't do as much as many steps. Then I have Depop. I don't really buy from Depop. I just sell on Depop. This is the third page. So TikTok Downloader, that's a Google Chrome thingy that I put on my home screen and basically with that you can copy the link of a TikTok that isn't downloadable or if the music's been muted, like before, if a TikTok's music was muted, if you downloaded it, it would bring the song back and now it doesn't. But if you use this, it will. 
and I used to have this here when I was making edits and stuff so I don't ever use it now because I don't make it. Let me just get rid of that actually. Just don't use that. Remove. There we go. Pinterest. I love Pinterest. It makes me happy. I make my like intros on there, the monthly intros, and that was inspired by Nicole Leno because every month she does like a reset video, which I love watching, and she makes a new wallpaper every month, so then she inspired me to do that, and I was like, I should make like a different intro every month. So I don't know how long it'll last for my we will to do that, but it's really fun to do it. Then I've got color tone, which anyone from like the Visco era would know. And I haven't used it in a long time and I don't post photos with it, but sometimes I like to just make a photo look aesthetic for no reason. And I'll just save it to my camera roll. I won't even post it. And I've got this app for my gym, but I'm not my, I don't have a membership right now because I stopped it in summer because it was just too hot to exercise. Like I just couldn't do it. By the time I got to the gym, I'd have no motivation. So. I've got the app there, but I can't use it until I have a membership again. Then I just have Duolingo here because I had the widget. I had the widget like here, so there was no need for have to have like the actual icon of the app. But I guess now I could probably put him on the home screen. Let's put him where <laughs> Snaptick was. Okay, and that is my phone. Thank you guys for watching this video. I don't think that much has changed from when I did it in 2022 in Vlogmas, but hopefully this video was more satisfying to look at. But yeah, if you like this video, I have so many more and I have Instagram and TikTok if you want to check those out as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I post every Tuesday at 3pm AWST and sometimes on Friday too if I have enough videos to post. Bye!